Excuse me, Carly, I need to take some readings. Okay, but you can stay. I don't think you can get me out of here, especially tonight. What's going on tonight? We're getting Michael's test results back from the specialists. They're gonna tell us what we need to do to make him better so we can take him home. Any changes? His vitals are stable. They have been all week. No change. Elizabeth, wait. I have a few things to say to you, and none of them are going to be easy. It must be hard for you, taking care of Michael every day. Because every time you look at him, you have to think about how easily that could have been Jake and Michael's place because of Jason. And I'm not gearing up to attack you if that's what you're thinking. I was quick to judge you for the decision you made, keeping Jake's paternity a secret. And that was before my own child was hurt for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, sitting next to his father. You made the right call, and I owe you an apology. Well, thank you, but it's not necessary. I mean, I'm not pretending like I magically like you or anything, but I understand why you made the choice that you made, and I really wish I would have. My life has been intertwined with Sonny and Jason's for years, and I know firsthand how dangerous it can be just, you know, being with him. But I still let myself believe all the promises that were made to keep my kids safe, but they were impossible to keep. So when you go home tonight, you, you hold your babies and you make sure they know how much you love them. And you'd be proud of yourself for making the only decision to protect your kids. We don't have to be friends for me to understand the type of pain you're in. So I'm just going to tell you something from one mother to another. You did what you thought was best for your children at the time. That's all we can do.